All right. So once again, my name is Max Garza III. I am out of Dallas, Texas. And for those of you that just joined, can everybody hear me okay? Because I know we had three, four people just joined. Everybody, Tara says it looks good, but can everybody hear me? Yes, yes, perfect. All right, here we go. So ultimately, guys, remember, today's training is going to involve a lot of interaction. I'm going to open up the line uh, a little later so that we can interact. Uh, but if you've got background noise, that's totally okay. All you have to do is mute your phone out. Uh, but I do want you asking questions. I do want you role playing because literally, guys, you're going to learn how to make money online, right? But what happens is a lot of times we'll show you how to brand yourself. We'll show you how to have a traffic strategy in place, and then basically we'll show you how to use automation tools to put it all together, right? Because uh, once you start generating traffic, guess what? Now people are chasing you, not the other way around. No more having to chase your mom, dad, cousin, brother. People, I mean, I don't know if you know this, but back in like the 80s and 90s, Amway would tell you what, like these big uh, MLM companies like Amway, Organo Gold, all these different companies, Excel Communications, that say, hey, we've got a three-foot rule. Anybody within three feet, you talk to them. Well, guess what? You wind up looking like a bipolar crazy person because people are like, whoa, who is this person talking to me about buying soap? So lo and behold, technology has advanced to the point where we're so digitally connected, right? So digitally connected that now you can order online from your mobile device. You can go to eBay. You can go to Amazon. Uh, literally, you, you can order off of, like here in Dallas, Texas, we have an app called Favor. And if I want a Slurpee right now or a corn dog, they would go buy a Slurpee and a corn dog. They charge me for it, right? They charge me a, 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 a fee to bring it to my doorstep. But literally, they'll bring it to my doorstep. It's ridiculous how people don't use the power of, of digital platforms the way we're using it to make money. Why? Because a lot of these companies, they don't train you. They don't show you how to use automation. Basically, they're stuck in the old ways. They're like uh, basically uh, riding brontosaurus to work, right? They tell you, hey, invite 50 people to a hotel room, and your drunk uncle shows up. Right? He's just there for the, for the punch and the sandwiches. And at the end of the day, guys, because of technology and the ability for us, for us to compress time and information, now what you're able to do is now you're able to put your information all around the interweb, and you've got hundreds of millions of people on a daily basis that are looking to purchase products, use services, and the majority of them are looking for a financial home run. So welcome to this afternoon training, guys. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, we'll be opening up the line here in, in a couple minutes. Uh, we'll go through the different modalities, and then you can ask questions, and we're going to interact with some people today. So let me just get the training up. Okay. All right, can everybody see this screen where it talks about Apps Mobi Sample Marketing Scripts and Conversion Secrets 2016? Yes, Linda Coleman. Yes, yes, yeah, okay, perfect. All right, guys, so this is being recorded. That way you can use this as a resource moving forward with your teams. So guys, the beautiful thing about marketing is that now you're going to get paid to post ads. Literally, you're going to get paid thousands of dollars to post ads. Why? You're seeing a company at its genesis, right? So AppsMobi uh, and ASW, both these companies, what they're doing is they have very disruptive digital platforms. But what you've got to understand, through AppsMobi, now we're going to be able to give away free digi apps to businesses around the world. It doesn't matter if they're in India. It doesn't matter if they're in the UK. It doesn't matter if they're in the United States, Canada, Mexico. You name it. People are going to get free digi apps. Now, what's going to happen is many of us that are on this phone call are using this Digi app. We've customized them, right, because we want to put our branded Digi app on people's mobile devices. But moving forward, guys, imagine this, because you're seeing this company at, at its genesis, and there's a lot of other things that we're going to be incorporating so that you can make money around the world. Because don't forget, Digi apps have no territory restrictions. What does that mean for you? That means that you can build a business wherever you want in the world, guys. Imagine waking up and checking on your organization in Germany. Imagine waking up and checking on your organization in China, Japan, uh, the United States, Australia, New Zealand, Africa. Guys, the sky's the limit. Why? Because literally we have one of the absolute most disruptive digital platforms, and this ecosystem is growing every single day, getting into more countries every single day, and it's because of the amazing talent that we are pulling in from around the world, guys. So first and foremost, thank you very much for being on this training. And we hope to provide some value for you. But let's go ahead and get started, guys. So obviously the key to handling conversion objections over the phone 
is keeping these apps Moby scripts in the back of your mind, but not actually using them verbatim. Listening to your prospects, accepting moments when you get roughed up and learning from mistakes will help you develop a finer understanding of marketing situations and the logic behind them. Guys, what I mean by that is, look, I'm going to share with you a lot of ways that you can handle objections, but I don't want you reading this word for word verbatim because then you sound like a robot. I want you practicing these scripts. I want you role playing, even if it's with a family member, your husband, your wife. Again, when, when I ask for volunteers, the reason why I want you to uh, role play with me on these trainings is because at the end of the day, if you can communicate with me, if you mess up here, that's okay. But if you mess up when you're talking to somebody that's interested in your business, you might be turning down somebody that's going to bring a couple hundred thousand dollars into your, into your bank over the next couple of months, right, over the next couple of years. The reason why we tell people, hey, mess up in, in training because, again, it doesn't, you don't lose anything while you're, while you're practicing in training. So don't be afraid. Fear is a liar. Fear doesn't do anything for you guys. It will never allow you not to be successful. So right away, again, all we're doing is marketing, right? You're getting paid to post ads all over Facebook, post ads all over Craigslist, and we're going to make it easy for you because we have a system that you can plug into. So now your training at AppsMobile will help you be better prepared to convert inbound and outbound requests for digital advertising, whitelisted accounts, and obviously, guys, anything moving forward, well, we've been talking about including an online shopping mall. We've been talking about including a classifieds engine and much, much more for everyone. Now, one of the very first objections many of you are going to get, and probably the, the most interesting one, is I'm not interested. Now, you can file this one under invalid reasons. Because the majority of times when you're talking to somebody on the phone, a lot of times they're just gatekeepers. So usually this is more of an emotional response to pesky marketers taking up precious time. Uh, when you hear this, the prospect is dismissive and probably did not listen to what was being said. A very terse objection. This one can be the most difficult objection for newer apps will be uh, MP stands for marketing partners to overcome. However, you have good reason for calling the prospect and you already know exactly why the prospect should be interested. Ask questions to understand why the prospect is objecting while maintaining your composure. As an example, here's an example script. So basically, guys, we'll give you the objection and an example script you can use, and then obviously we'll get a little interaction uh, in between. So example script. Thank you, Mrs. Prospect. I understand why you feel that way, uh, or I understand why you feel that this is not of any interest to you. However, I can assure you that, dir that director at client X told me the exact same thing and now he is using our solution to do W, X, and Y. And here, guys, you can see I put uh, more product sales, company branding, brand loyalty, or increased marketing penetration. You can use any of these uh, when you're talking to your clients. So I understand that improving Y, X, and, and Y, X, and, uh, or sorry, W, X, and Y, again, I put these just in parentheses so you can use them when you're talking to people. More product sales, company branding, brand loyalty, or increased market penetration are important daily metrics for you and your business as well. Can you share with me why improving these metrics is not of any interest to you at this time? Now guys, remember that I teach a lot of you to become question-based marketers. And when, it, when you're handling objections, it's the same exact thing because now you might not have organic rapport, but you're building, uh, you're building digital rapport. Because when you ask questions, you make them kind of think in their head, well, you know, obviously, as an example, if I was a business owner, and somebody was approaching me about more product sales, about company branding, brand loyalty, or increased market penetration, guys, those things are valuable to any business in any part of the world, right? But imagine you're a brand new business and you're still trying to, uh, you know, get some sales, right? Or you're still trying to get some brand awareness because you're a new retail shop or you're a new restaurant. Uh, I mean, obviously, when you ask these questions, now you're going to make that owner think or that director of operations. Now, Asking this question gets the prospect to think about your digital products and or value proposition in the context of their business and role and also helps you move beyond the initial resistance, usually into another objection. While it may seem undesirable to move from not interested to yet another sales objection, these secondary objections are usually more rational and less knee-jerk. I mean, guys, you'll move from not interested into, well, how much does it cost, right? Uh, from not interested to, well, can I use this for all my employees? So the reason why we say you're moving into a secondary objection because a secondary objection 
is literally now when they're asking you more questions, it's because they're interested, not disinterested. So let me give you a quick expert tip. Whenever, guys, you're talking to these prospects, whether they're for your online business, whether they're leads for AppsMobi, it doesn't matter. A prospect is a prospect. A prospect can be somebody that's going to purchase your product. A prospect can be somebody that's going to be a marketing partner, and you need that conversion, right? Because, again, clicks are great. Uh, impressions are great. But the lifeblood of any business is conversions. So expert tip number one, speak slowly and clearly. Sometimes the prospect is not interested because he literally has no idea what you said. Also, not interested is just another way of saying, I don't want to listen. Sometimes people will not want to listen to you, and that's totally okay. Guys, I'm going to tell you something that I read a long time ago. One of my first mentors, uh, he made me read a book, and in that book I understood one thing about sales, and it gave me perspective. So any, any sales or marketing jobs, you've got to understand one thing. One third of the people out there are going to say yes no matter what. They're just super excited, emotional people. They want to try your product because, again, they don't know how to market, uh, so they literally need something in their business cycle to help them win. One third of the people you talk to are going to absolutely tell you no. Why? That's just the way they're wired, guys. You could say, hey, I'm going to give you a million dollars and a free Digi app, and they literally never even heard the free million dollars. They're just going to say no. Some of them are just sour, but you can always revisit with them, but initially they're just going to tell you no. Now, where you make a ton of money, guys, where you can become wealthy is that middle one third. As an example, these people are the ones that might give you the most objections initially because they're interested. So when you convert that middle one-third as far as, as conversion, guess what the one-third of these people you talk to are highly interested. They're emotional buyers. One-third are going to say no no matter what. But where you're really going to amplify your income is that middle one-third where your training right, comes into play. So always remember, guys, when they say no, the rejection is not based on you. It's based on them. Don't take it personal. In, in any marketing scenario, when it comes to conversion, it's not going to be your fault if they tell you no. Just brush it off. You know, keep notes on, on how the conversation went. You always want to have metrics in front of you so that we can refine uh, your pitch, so we can refine your rebuttal training. Uh, so just remember, guys, stay positive. Uh, um, when you wake up every morning, make sure that you tell yourself that everybody wants to do business with you. Because ultimately, I teach a lot of y'all how to do positive affirmations. And one of the greatest affirmations I do on a daily basis is I tell myself that I'm the son of a king, right, of my Lord Jesus Christ. But beyond that, I start getting into things like everybody wants to do business with me. And I say that like 20 times, 30 times, and guess what? My brain is dumb enough to believe that. Because those affirmations, guys, they literally allow you that when you get rejection, it bounces off of you like, it's, like you have armor, right? It's like whatever. He said, no, I just move on to the next one. So now let's get into the next objection you're going to run into. A lot of people are going to say, we don't have the budget. Well, if the prospect has never been in contact with AppsMobi and claims they cannot afford your solution, this is just another, another way of brushing you off. Now, remember, we are offering a free Digi app initially. So guys, how can somebody not afford free? I mean, literally, we're going to give you the platform that's going to allow you to build a massive footprint globally. So the only reason I'm talking about we don't have the budget is because we're going to have some things moving forward where people can upgrade, right? Where individuals can upgrade, businesses can upgrade, even 501c3 nonprofits can upgrade. But initially, the reason why I wanted, wanted you to realize this is a free Digi app. We're going to go into businesses around the world and say, hey, Mr. Owner, guess what? I want to help you convert more sales. I want to help you get more brand awareness. I want more people to go to your website and make purchases. And I want to help you and give you a free Digi app. And all your customers, all your, your employees are going to get free Digi apps from my company, right? And as an example, let's say it's Queen DJ. Queen DJ is going to be like, it's my, it, it, it's, uh, I'm a marketing partner, and my company is going to give you free Digi apps all over Canada. So now Queen DJ goes in, and everybody gets super fired up because who doesn't like free? But yet, who doesn't like converting more sales? Again, that's what we're offering businesses around the world, guys. We're allowing you to partner with us. Everybody that's on this conference call is a founding member in AppsMobi. And we're going to give you all the resources that you need to win with any company. It doesn't matter if you have an online business. It doesn't matter if you have a traditional business. We literally are going to give you the resources so that you can go out and build a massive residual income. And I don't know about you guys, but nobody ever turns down a check with actual commas in it, especially when you're getting paid to post ads daily on social media 
or go into your local market and give away free DigiApp. So remember that. So now, the more reasonable budget objection occurs when the prospect is working with a bootstrap budget, where every penny of the year is already accounted for, management slashed my budget in half, I honestly couldn't buy your product even if I wanted to, as an example, right guys? Sometimes a prospect will say this or brush you off, but in most instances, it is a genuine concern and we have the ultimate solution for it. You will be able to offer free digi-ads for the entire company and their patrons. So now, it is up to AppsMobi marketing partner discretion, keen judgment, and instinct, instincts to determine if the prospect is being sincere. In this situation, it helps to keep in mind that your solution, return on investment, could very well lead to a bigger budget for the prospect in the long run. Again, the reason why we say this, guys, is imagine that you go into a business. Let's say they're struggling for happy hour business. Let's say they're struggling uh, for business on Mondays, Tuesdays, or Wednesdays because a lot of restaurants have trouble on those, on those uh, early days of the week. Imagine, guys. Now, let's say we're giving out these free digi apps to these local restaurants in your territory, whether you're in California, North Carolina, India, Japan, Canada. It doesn't matter, right? If, if these businesses are struggling to get their brand out, to get their specials out, imagine when you go in there now and tell them, hey, look, I can help you with conversion. I can help you with brand awareness. But at the end of the day, now you're going to be able to do push notifications, uh, update people about events for your restaurant, your retail sales. I mean, guys, I don't know if you know this, but if you're able to put these uh, informational segments on people's mobile devices, this meaning, let's say that I love a restaurant in my territory, right? Uh, as an example, here in Dallas, Texas, um, let's just say that uh, I'm going to go eat at a restaurant. Uh, let's just call it uh, Olive Garden. Uh, so let's say that Olive Garden runs a special on Mondays where they do half-off pasta. Well, if I love Olive Garden and uh, they understand that I'm using the Digi app for free that they offered me, and now I see that every Monday because I'm a, a, a Digi app member, uh, maybe I'm a mobile VIP, a Digi app member with them, right? So now I can go in for 50% off pasta. Now imagine, guys, if that's on a Monday and that's one, if I'm a business owner and that's one of my slowest days, now if we have, just as an example, 50,000 users in the DFW area, and let's just say that 3% of those 50,000 come in. Guys, that's business we're generating for that business, for that uh, Olive Garden, and it's all because they're putting information on my mobile device. And my mobile device is stuck in my hip. Literally, I don't go to bed without this thing. I literally, I, I get, uh, I, I freak out when I don't, I can't find my phone because this thing has all, it's everything to me, right? It's my computer, it's my wallet, it's my everything. So if you're like me, you cannot literally walk out the door without your mobile device, but that's happening around the world, guys. We're so digitally connected that now, I mean, think about it. I can wave my phone over a point of sale terminal and I can pay for coffee at Starbucks. That's how important these things in our hands are. And you're able to put information for business owners on that one device that people literally cannot live without, right? So as an example, look at this example script right here. Thank you for your insight, Mr. Prospect. I understand why you may be hesitant to open up some budget for a digital solution you have no experience with. The reason I'm calling you, however, is to open up some initial dialogue. Clients X and Y, and again, whatever clients you have in the future or whatever clients we have in the company, guys, we'll give you those names and you can input that into these scripts. Uh, implemented our Digi apps uh, to solve Z and K. As an example, again, in parentheses, I put to solve brand awareness, increase sales, push notifications directly to your client's mobile devices with our free Digi apps. And I understand there may also be problems with your business, or these may also be problems with your business. Guys, every single business you're gonna run into has problems with brand awareness. Every business needs more sales. Every business needs more traffic to their websites. I mean, I could go on and on and on about what traditional businesses or even online businesses can, can benefit from our free uh, apps Moby Digi apps, guys. It, it's phenomenal what you have in front of you, and the residual income that's involved is even more powerful. So now, another type of budget objection results from the prospect having already evaluated our apps Moby solution through previous meetings and concluding that it's not worth the cost. If this just happened, it will prove very difficult to convince the prospect that you have an additional value proposition outside of a sizable discount. If a few months have passed, be sure to reference new clients, product updates, or use cases to demonstrate added value. 
the fact that we are now giving every business a free DigiAd solution will allow you to penetrate markets globally daily, guys. Again, if you're a business owner and you're on social media and you see somebody advertising saying, hey, look, if you're a business that needs more sales, if you're a business that needs more traffic to your website, if you're a business that needs to communicate uh, with your local community, think about it, guys. You're giving them a DigiApp solution that does all of the above and a lot more. So when, when thinking about the power that you have in front of you guys, don't forget, Nobody else is going to give them free digi apps like we are. Nobody else is going to have the kind of ecosystem we're going to have globally. So with the talent that you have right now and the system we're putting in place, talk about a perfect mixture for an explosion globally. You can literally build a footprint anywhere you want around the world, guys. And all you have to do is plug into the system, especially because you're getting trained, right? Literally, because the training is going to be every single week, you're always going to be able to refine your skills, learn how to brand, learn how to have a traffic strategy, and obviously we're going to give you the automated tools to win, right? So here's an example script. Mrs. Prospect, since the last time we connected, we've improved our Apps Mobi digital ecosystem and expanded integration offerings. These updates are the reason Client X just signed with us last month. To increase online sales, training updates, specials notifications, video integration, and a host of other sales and marketing solutions. Since you mentioned, and here are some other examples, guys, that you can use, company branding, social media interaction, uh, and online sales conversions as problems the last time we spoke, it would be great to reconnect and discuss the added value these improvements offer your business. Again, guys, you always want to write down questions when you're talking to your leads or prospective marketing partners in any territory, but it, when you follow up with these business owners or decision makers, the more ammunition you have in front of you, I tell everybody, I always train all my brokers with my energy and renewables company to have a five ring binder. Why? Because every time they talk to a client, whether they close them or not, they write notes in that binder and I tell them, keep that binder around you 24 seven. Why? You never know when you're going to have the ability to convert somebody for like for my brokers, obviously they work a uh, straight commission. So they don't have a nine to five mentality. Many, many of them make six figures every single year. And the reason why they do that is because they are trained to understand the sales cycle. They're trained to understand the psychology of marketing. Just like what you're getting, just like all of this training you're getting, they get trained just like you all do on a weekly basis also. The only difference is they've been doing it, you know, a couple months, a couple years, and now you're actually learning the entire process because now you're going to treat your online business like an actual business, right? You're going to treat it like you're the CEO of a multi-million dollar business, which you are. Now, here's another objection you're going to get, guys. We already use something for that. I mean, that's just broad, but you'll get that a lot. While it may be tempting to try and overcome this objection by attacking or devaluing the prospect's current situation, all too often the people we are speaking to are the same people responsible for completing the project we hope to replace. In these instances, guys, implying that you somehow know better than your prospect or being outside or outright rude is a bad idea. I recommend affirming the value of your prospect solution and offering additional value. Think about it. If the prospect is already in the market for your services, it is his duty and in, and in his best interest to be absolutely sure that the current solution is in fact ideal for the business. As an example, guys, if somebody else is using, just as an example, let's say they were using Instagram, right? They're, they're communicating with their client base on Instagram. The way you could handle it is say, hey, Mr. Prospect, let's say it was just Judy, her name is Judy, right? Hey, Judy, Instagram is an amazing company. They're a great company, right? And uh, ultimately, we are a company similar to Instagram, except we're a lot more disruptive when it comes to the business side, uh, when it comes to the conversion side, because now you're putting your information directly on your consumer's mobile devices. Uh, specials, right? Videos, you name it, you can put it directly on all your uh, Apps Mobi Digi VIP. So guys, ultimately, all these things that we're going to teach you will allow you to win massively in your target market. Because again, it's not about saying that we're better than anybody. We're more disruptive is a nice way of saying that you know we are on par with whoever it is, right? And uh, it allows you to look, uh, look professional. It's not like we're saying, oh, Instagram, they suck. Why are you using Instagram? When they launched, they had one server. They, they went down all the time. We never, ever want to use that, that technique because it makes us look sour. It makes us look salty. And y'all are professionals. Y'all are, are marketing professionals now. So an example script for this. 
I'm glad to hear that you're already working with a provider. This confirms that you see the value in using such a solution to increase overall sales, conversion, company branding, customer retention, and brand awareness. I am calling you because in addition to increasing uh, X and Y, we've worked with companies like Client X to boost Z. As an example here, I'd say to boost online sales, increase customer traffic, get more company website impressions, and a host of other measurable business metrics as well. Guys, ultimately, all these things that you see in parentheses are things that you can pick. You can pick whatever you want to say about online sales, increase customer traffic, uh, get more company website impressions. These are a lot of the things that I mean, we have a gamut of things we're going to teach you that you can talk to businesses about. But a lot of times, they understand these hot button words. These are hot buttons for them because, again, a business can't stay in business unless they're bringing in money, right? So now, another thing that you'll run into initially and guys, we're going to train you on a bunch of different objections and rebuttals and give you scripts. But I want you to understand, we're going to give it to you piece by piece. We don't want to uh, overflow you with information, but we want you to find value in the training. So as an example, it's not a good time. This objection comes up because the prospect is preoccupied with other responsibilities and cannot envision making your proposed project a priority. Whatever reason your prospect gives for not being able to evaluate your solution now, there are still ways to add value on the other side of their objection. And here's a sample script. Okay, we'll just say the prospect, all right? So we are too busy preparing for the holiday season right now. The app's Moby Marketing Partner. That's great. We can help you improve your online checkout conversions and guarantee smoother customer experiences during the busy season by giving your consumers push notifications on their mobile device. Script example two. Let's say Judy again. We are waiting for the new manager to to start and we're asking a new hire to abruptly switch solutions after he starts can hamper product productivity. I get that a lot. So the way I train my marketing partners, this would be the Apps Mobi marketing partner rebuttal. Buying now will help the manager develop familiar familiarity with our solution and guarantees productivity and amplified sales conversions this quarter. Now imagine guys, you can replace the buying now with, you know, it, it's it's free to integrate the solution. Whether they're upgrading or whether they're using it for free, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, if free is too expensive, then just move on to the next business. Because remember, we're giving them a free DigiApp. We're giving their employees free DigiApp. We're giving their consumers, their customers, uh, their loyalty base, free DigiApps. So script example number three, prospect. We are too busy implementing solution B. Let's say, again, they're using Twitter. So AppsMobi marketing partner, great. Clients like X and Y found that solution B works better when it operates in tandem with ours. Acting now will ensure you can capture this added value immediately. Now, when it comes to timing objections, there's usually a way to frame acting now versus later as an opportunity for the prospect to get more done in the long run. Meaning, guys, a lot of times when they're giving you these objections, the only reason we're giving you all this advice is now you'll you'll get back to initially getting them to try the platform for free, right? So as you answer the initial brunt of objections, then obviously it's just about them filling out a form so that we can track that back to you. Because again, you're getting paid, literally getting paid to post, uh, you know, post on social media. Like all you're doing is posting ads on social media, and as people request more information, uh, we'll even have people that will will be able to track everything and help you. Uh, convert those businesses moving forward. So now let's talk about, well, before we get into this, let me open up the line and see if anybody has any questions about the initial objections. And if you've got some background noise, guys, just mute your phone now. It's not a big deal. All right, guys, so the lines are wide open. So now that you hear some of the objections you'll be running into, um, obviously when you start producing leads, guys, or let's say that you go into a business, you're going to get a lot of this uh, initial objection. Does anybody have any questions about how we handle them? Obviously, you see the script. You're going to have all this to study, internalize, and obviously use so you can convert uh, more accounts moving forward. And again, this all applies to AppsMobi. This all applies to ASW. This all applies to any business you have right now, whether it's traditional brick and mortar or online. So that being said, any questions, comments, or testimonies on the first half? Because I want you to understand, this is just the beginning. This is an introduction into your rebuttal training. Queen DJ, are you there? Yes, I am. Prince Any Prince. questions, Bama? Um, 
I, I, I'm just a little unsure about doing rebuttals. Okay. I don't do that. When you well. say when you say unsure, uh, is it because you you've never really had to do them? I've attempted to do them. I'll just put it that oh, okay. way. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's okay. Well, look, as as long as you you've attempted to do them, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, that's it's a good thing. I get yeah, most definitely. So now, now let me ask you a question. So now that you see these rebuttals, do you think that they would benefit you when you learn them over the next couple of days, next couple of weeks? Oh yeah, I, I, I think with practice and stuff, I could probably do it. Okay, perfect. So here, let me ask you a quick question. So right now, when you start marketing, and let's say somebody asks you, uh, you know, a question, right? Because a question is an objection. How do you handle a question right now? Now, right now, you're learning how to to get past those barriers. But right now, what do you do when somebody asks a question? I just try to answer it to the best of my ability. Okay. So let, can I give you some advice? Sure. Initially, right now that you're learning this uh, rebuttal training, uh, I would advise you to to put them on the phone with somebody that's on your team. As an example, myself, Judy, uh, Andre. Right, and then the reason why I'm saying that is, literally, we're all one big family, right? And if we can help you close down some of these accounts, because look, you have some some major accounts in Alberta. I mean, just locally. Not even if you think about when when you get online, uh, when you start marketing online, you know, you're going to run into a ton of people that want information. But even in Alberta, if you just went out and told some business owners, just an example, hey, look, uh, we'll give you and all. Let's say they own three restaurants. We'll give you and all your employees free DigiCards. We'll offer all your patrons free DigiCards. What business doesn't want to brand themselves or put information in front of their consumers' eyeballs more frequently? Every business does, right? So if, if they need information and you need to get them on the phone, then you have myself, Andre, Ms. Judy as a resource. And so moving forward, if there's something that you feel a little bit iffy about, know that you have a team behind you to help you close those deals. That's awesome. That's good. Okay. Deal. All right, so let me move on to Miss Elena. Miss Elena, you live in Louisiana. Let's see if she's available. Miss Elena, come out on the uh, call real quick. She might be a little bit busy. All right, let me see. Let me bring out somebody. Roger Pugh. Unmute your line, Mr. Roger Pugh. Is that Elena? Either Elena, Roger P, or Wesley. I'm the line. I have my mic off, man. I'm sorry. Oh, brother, no worries. No worries. All right, Roger. So you live in a pretty good sized territory, uh, just between Hillsboro and Waco, Texas. Uh, Waco, Texas. There's a couple hundred thousand people and uh, thousands of, of businesses that could benefit from the free Digi apps. So, brother, do yes, you have sir. any questions as far as the objections? Do you have any questions on on the process? Because look, you ran businesses for decades, right? You were in management for decades, and you understand the value of a business bringing in money, correct? Correct. Yes, now, sir. What's, what's the value, Roger, for a business in the digital age right now to basically either adopt technology or go out of business? Because as you know, when, when the dot-com boom, when you were managing back in the dot-com boom, a lot of businesses went out of business because they did not adopt technology, right? Well, that's the only reason that, you know, the only constant in life is change, and what most of us resist is change. But if you want to be on the cutting edge, and, and business is very competitive out there, and so everybody wants to have that whatever advantage or opportunity to get their exposure out there. So I think we're onto something. I think as far as actually a, a vehicle that people can, uh, again, uh, get their product, get their brand, get their exposure, because uh, you know it, it's it's location and traffic flow and exposure. So everybody's looking in business. How can I improve? How can I uh, you know continue to uh, look at the competition? And have one estimateship on them. Hey Roger, let me ask you a quick question. What's your favorite uh, restaurant in uh, Hillsborough? 
Uh, probably because I want to, you know, I I kind of want to make sure that I'm I uh, I'm trying to think of something smart. Yeah, El, El Chico uh, over over here. El, Elcon, El Chico. Elcon. El, El Elcon. 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 So. Uh, yeah. Obviously, moving forward, uh, you know, it's funny because they have a lot of people that travel through there because of the uh, the shopping. Uh, what are those things called? Where they have the the shops? The uh, why can't I think of the yeah, word? For people who are yeah, yeah, we call it the mall, but it's a discount. Uh, what do they call them? It escapes me. Also, we, we just call it the mall. Well, uh, it, it's like the wholesale area, right? Where people go buy wholesale. Right. The reason. The reason why this would be very valuable to, to a lot of businesses just in the Central Texas area is because of those wholesale stores that you all have out there, like Adidas, Polo, uh, Coach, DKNY, you name it, is because as people come and eat at their restaurants when they go shopping, now when they do specials, right, they can put all those specials on people's mobile devices. They can put video of, uh, as an example, let's say they, they're trying some kind of uh, new cuisine. They they can do coupons. I mean, there's so many things that people can do. Google Maps. Um, I mean, it, it is phenomenal what technology will allow people to do with these digi apps. And uh, and guys, this is any territory. This doesn't. I mean, we're not even talking about just the United States. If you got uh, businesses in Germany, if you got, got businesses in Japan, Australia, New Zealand, remember these digi apps are global. That's what's exciting. I get goosebumps thinking about. Hey, look! For all of us that are using them to convert more people into our online businesses, that's phenomenal. But now, imagine every single business owner that you know that's in your territory using these to win massively. So now, let me continue and finish this out real quick. All right, guys. So let's go and talk about some secrets, because literally, these marketing secrets will help you make a ton of money. So. The Apps Moby marketing partner secret number one, stop asking how are you today. Why? That, you sound like a telemarketer when you say that. Because literally, we've been on so many phone calls, uh, you know, we've hired telemarketers, and literally the ones that always start off with how are you today, they get shut down pretty quick. So believe it or not, 80% of your, of your competition still advertises themselves as lame sales reps, making cold calls. By asking this overused and insincere question, nothing identifies you more as a pesky telemarketer than opening your call with this question. Instead, try, hi, Andre, how's your day? And then obviously say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, going, right? Or, well, hi, Judy, happy uh, Monday or Tuesday to you, right? So it's just different than you're trying to build that rapport with people, guys, because at the end of the day, everybody else is sounding like an absolute a telemarketer and you don't want to be like everybody else guys you want to differentiate yourself from everybody moving forward so that being said guys these little things can mean the difference between you connecting with people and uh, you getting shut down with your initial call right because remember a lot of these leads that you're going to be producing are people that are fired up about just getting information so we're just trying to make sure that you can get past the initial 5 to 15 seconds so AppsMobi marketing partner secret two, stop talking at your prospect and instead ask a question so you can connect early on. Now many of you that have been, been on our trainings, guys, you understand one thing. We are question-based marketers. Why? That's how you build rapport. That's how you get them to talk to you, right? Again, believe it or not, 80% of your competition starts pitching as soon as they get their prospect on the phone. Compare your own script to this and ask yourself how long your first opening paragraph is. Three sentences, four, way too long. You must engage your prospect right away and begin a conversation. That means asking them a question early on. Try something like, after you wish them a happy Tuesday, as an example, Brian, the reason for the call is to let you know about the robust Digi app service we provide with regards to your daily marketing procedures. Who's handling that for you right now? I mean, literally, guys, think about that. That's nice, sweet, short, but it gets you, it allows you not to waste their time, right? Because, again, many of these people are going to be leaps. And they're going to be excited about you returning their phone call because they want to find out more about this. Or you could say something like, Jay, briefly, the reason I'm calling is to show you how we could perhaps save you money and time with your company branding process. I was told that you handled that. Is that correct? So, again, these will allow you to, once you get people on the phone call, engage them right away. Make them understand why you're talking to them. See how that goes? It's imperative that you connect right away in the best 
way to do that is by asking a question. So now let's talk about Ask Moby Marketing Partner Secret 3. Listen and think before you respond. In other words, listen to what they're telling you. Why? They, a lot of these business owners, guys, or decision makers, they want to be heard. They, they're going to spend this money with somebody. They might as well be spending it with you, right? So asking a question in the beginning not only allows you to connect with your prospect, but it also allows you to gauge their reaction. The reason 80% of your competition is afraid to ask a question is they're afraid their prospect might not be interested. That's okay. Who cares? Guys, there's thousands, hundreds of millions of people out there that are interested in what you have to say. So one again, don't take rejection personally. One person tells you no, it is totally okay. It's not on you. So the top 20% are anxious to find out who is. That's us. I mean, we are anxious. I mean, that's why we teach you to be question-based marketers, right? Uh, and who isn't? And how much someone might be? And they do that by carefully listening to their prospect's response to this question, and then they listen and think before responding. You need to as well. In other words, guys, just don't start pitching again right away, right? But rather, be prepared to vary your response based on what and how your pro and how your prospect responds. In other words, listen and react to what they say. So Apps Moby Marketing Partner Secret Number Four: Make sure you have a list of questions, and we'll arm you with a lot of these guys. But just so you know, uh, this is a broad overview, kind of your introduction to how we're going to show you how to handle objections and get more conversions. So ask your prospect your list so you can gather all the information you'll need to fully qualify or disqualify them. You need to know the six areas of interest, guys, but basically you need to know why they'll buy, right, their hot button, why they won't buy, possible deal-killing objections, who makes the decision, how many people were involved, right, what the decision process is all about, how long, et cetera, what other companies they are looking at, who your competition is, and their budget. Guys, the reason why you need the information is, remember, at the end of the day, we're going to use a premium model to get in the get you in the door. And then obviously as they purchase advertising, as they upgrade, all this is, is going to track back to you. It's going to be tracked back to you through cookies. Or obviously when, uh, when business call and say, hey, uh, Miss, Miss uh, DJ out of Alberta, Canada, uh, well, tell me about this program. Can you tell me more? Uh, guys, like I said, we're one big family. We're going to make sure that you're winning in your, mar in your local markets. Now, if you don't know all of these things before you send out your demo or information, guys, or quote, then I'll bet you're closing less than three out of ten uh, leads sent out. And you could literally be closing seven to nine leads, and if, if possibly, again, if these are people that are answering your ads on social media or obviously answering uh, your uh, queries when you go into local businesses, your closing rate is going to be so much higher because you have this information at hand. So now, Apps Moby Marketing Partner Secret number five, make an exact appointment time to get back with your prospects, meaning many of you are going to be out in the field marketing, guys, because, again, it's a free digi app for business, right? So you'd be amazed by how many marketing reps are not doing this. Instead, 80% of sales reps are chasing and chasing unqualified leads they can never, uh, never reach again and who never close. Making an appointment gives you so much information. First, if they won't commit, it tells you how uncontrollable your prospect is. And remember, leads will get better, guys. Why? Because these people are responding to a free digi app. Also, if your prospect misses your appointment, and what, you know, what does that say about them then? And of course, when your prospect is there and waiting for your call, what does that tell you? It tells you that they are interested, they're, they're, they're highly interested in hearing your message, and you teaching them how this platform can benefit them. So start setting a definite time with all your prospects and watch your closing rates start to climb. Now, guys, Above and beyond what, what we're trying to, to show you today also is um, we're going to be giving you tools just like this. So if you can see my screen, click yes or just uh, give me an okay, awesome, something in the chat box. So this is a sales funnel. And this funnel right here, I'm actually testing it right now so you can see. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'll even show you the message that I'm using. I go to history. So check this out. Uh, while I've been training y'all, I've been sending out marketing to split tests. I'm going to be split testing all this. Because again, we want to make sure that the, that the tools we're giving you have impact, right? And what better to have impact than actually for the trainer to try and get a lead. So let me just show you the ad that I'm running. 
And again, a lot of this automation, guys, we teach you how to do all this stuff. And if this is the first time that you're on training, it's okay, because we'll still teach you how to do all this stuff. And again, you're getting it for free. Normally, I charge people anywhere from $3,000 to $5,000 to train them on how to market online. But because you're part of the AppSmobi family, you get it absolutely free. So I'll let that run, and then uh, let me show you this real quick. So basically my ad, when people are going to click on it, guys, and your ads in the future, because many of you that are using automation tools, check that out. Sweet that looks. So it says, apps have the power to disrupt industries and generate billions of dollars. We are looking for global marketing partners that want to make thousands every week. See how. Watch our short presentation. And it says, take the free tour and learn more. So I'm gonna, we're going to teach you how to generate your own leads, right? First name, last name, email, and phone number. Take a free tour, boom. So as an example, and let me see if it's posting yet. No, not yet. Oh, there it goes. Check this out, guys. Look at this voodoo magic. This is how automation works. This is why I teach you how to automate. What does it say? It say apps have the power to disrupt industries and generate billions of dollars. Uh, we are looking for global marketing partners. And remember, I don't know how to type that fast, so this is all automated. Uh, see how, watch our short presentation, sign up for free today. Boom, look at that. And then I'll let you watch it completely so you can see how it looks like. So it's going to add some pictures. If, uh, if you can see this, obviously some of you are on mobile devices, some of you are on laptops. So the people that are on laptops or tablets, you can see this, correct? Tara, Dre, Judy. Check it out. Literally, it's, everything's automated. Lily's put yes. Miss Lily Lane. Elena, yes. Look at that. Posting pictures. And I'm split testing everything, guys, because I do everything I, everything I teach y'all, I do it. So, so you know when I tell you to do something, hey, I practice what I preach. Wesley put yes. Dre put yes. I mean, check this out. Voodoo magic, guys. Boom, there's the ad. And look at where, obviously, I teach you all about marketing inside of Facebook groups. Look at that. One million new business contacts. So imagine, we are what? A global, disruptive, digital platform. We're going to teach you how to market and make money globally, guys. That's a given. Let me see somebody put... Did you know that still over 50% of the businesses do not have sites and even any social media? Miss Judy, that's beautiful. Why? Because that's why we're going to go and help hundreds of millions of businesses around the world. So now that you see kind of the automation, we're going to give you all these the script guides, ad copy, automation tools. I mean, the sky's the limit. All we need to do is plug you into this equation because, look, we're looking to create financial success for you. We're looking to create people that are tired of the nine-to-five rat race. We want you to be the captain of your own ship become a brand, partner with our disruptive digital ecosystem, and go out and change other people's lives. Because look, guys, the majority of you that are on this training right now are founding members of AppsMobi. And guess what? You're going to get the most company resources. You're going to get the most marketing training. You're, you're absolutely going to crush anything that we do moving forward, guys. So that being said, does anybody have any questions on how this marketing – I mean, literally, we're going to market every Tuesday – so moving forward, every single Tuesday, um, every single Friday, we'll be doing training courses so that you can win financially. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're – literally, you could be at a uh, Starbucks, and you could be making a ton of money. You could be working out your home office, and you could be making a ton of money. Why? Guys, literally, we're teaching you all this automation, right? And all you got to do is be consistent. The majority of you do not have traffic problems. The majority of you have – consistency, and follow-up problems. Now we're taking all that out of the equation because we're teaching you how to handle objections. We're teaching you how to automate. We're teaching you how to brand, generate traffic. I mean, again, guys, literally, we've got some people on this training right now that didn't know anything about online marketing, and many of them have been coming to these classes over the past couple weeks, past couple months, and now they've got people chasing them, which is a beautiful thing to hear the excitement in people's voices when they start making money and they're not chasing their friends and families anymore. So, that being said, guys, I uh, recorded this session so that everybody can uh, have this session to, to share with their team. Uh, many of you can call me directly if you have any other questions. I like to keep these uh, trainings to about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, uh, just so that you can focus on the rest of your day because literally everything's recorded. 
uh, you'll get these these training documents will be posted in the in the training group on Facebook. So that being said, let me open up the lines and see if anybody has any questions. Because if this doesn't give you goosebumps, guys, literally, you, you might not have a pulse. Any questions, guys? The lines are wide open. Who's excited about marketing automation? I mean, literally, I mean, while we were talking, uh, you know, I was spitting out marketing up in life. I am a member of the Texas uh, Black Business Women's Association. So, any questions, comments, testimonies? Who's excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Woo! Debbie, Elena. Who's really excited? Guys, look, we're, we're trying to make you understand one thing. You're seeing this as the genesis. Before we add in all these other things, y'all are seeing something that we're going to literally we're gonna ride and die with y'all. We're going we're gonna to put all our focus on making sure you become a success story. So if that doesn't excite you, literally, we're very transparent. Uh, you have uh, Andre Pierre on here. You have Miss Judy Lamont. Our CFO, Melissa Garza, literally, we are going to do things to make sure that you win moving forward, guys. So if that doesn't excite you, I don't know what will. I'm excited, Max. Good call. Thank you, Wesley. Thank you. All right, guys. If you don't have any questions, comments, or testimonies, don't forget, Mr. Brian Early, the professor, will be doing the uh, Apps Mobi company overview call tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let's drive more traffic to our weekly calls, guys, because I want you all to understand that the more numbers we get, the more things we can incorporate so you can make money, guys. We're trying to make sure that you're consistently making $500 to $1,000 a week, consistently, right? And it can happen. It can turn into $5,000 a week. It can turn into $10,000 a week. But you've got to be willing to put the time in. You've got to be willing to internalize this information and then go build massive global footprints, guys. Because there is nowhere you can't build with us. So that being said, thank you very much for attending this training. Uh, literally, if you have any questions, you can reach out directly to me, 214-770-9699. I even put, I'll put it in the chat box just in case. And uh, other than that, guys, we will see you on tonight's call. And uh, don't forget that Friday, uh, again, by reservation, we'll do another training. And we're going to go into more ad copy. We're going to go into more automation. And uh, we'll start discussing more about the mobile advertising engine so you all can start making money with that. All right, guys. God bless. And let's go out and build a billion-dollar company and help hundreds of millions of families. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Max. Thanks. Thank you, guys.